Hello everybody, this is uh, Vaisol playing some Skies of Arcadia Legends. Last we left off, we were just uh, heading south of uh, Nasser to hopefully find Cape Victory and the city of Esperanza. We'll see what we can find. Oh no, that's not it. That's it. Although there is a discovery over there that I could go and pick up, but uh, it's a bit out of my way for now. I will be doing most of the discoveries uh, in a special video at the end of the project, so this will almost all be in the same episode. Okay, so what can we do against these jokers? I guess we can uh, take one of them out this turn, and then everybody else focus, so we might have a chance to use the, um, the rain of sword. Yeah, you little uh, yellow ones I don't care about. And you give neither good XP nor good money. But the little something still give 1000 gold per kill. So I am going to try and kill them all. Yeah. One is down. That's good. Only three enemies remain. Oh no you don't. You do. But you get killed for your insolence. Well, now only one remain. No, 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 more than that. So it is good enough. We will use our Reign of Swords and. Oh, please do, please do. Oh, it miss. Unfortunate miss. Well, too bad, but everybody's dead nonetheless. An utter victory. Okay. Alright, we're nearing a silver spell for Eka, a green spell for Enrique, I don't care about. And uh, we're getting there with the silver magic on Fina. So oh, now we can traverse these reefs with the Delphinus, which is now reinforced. We could fight this guy, but really... Oh? Did he get us? Oh, he did. Okay, so we will fight this guy. Why not? It's a black pirate! So you're the blue rogue vice that everyone's been talking about around these parts. We'll teach you a thing or two. Will you now? Well, show me. Show me what you got. Because now this ship has a lot of uh, hit points. It's not going to go down that easy. This is an enemy you're supposed to fight with the Lil Jack, not the Daphinus, so... He doesn't really stand a chance. But it's good practice anyway. Hello! Oh, a double miss! How did that happen? Really? Come on. That's unfair. Oh well. And of course you hit me, but with for minimal damage. Pretty insignificant. Look at the size of our ships. I'm gigantic in this game. Okay, so... <laughs> not even a thousand damage per hit. Right, now, let's try again. With everybody. Okay, so you can use the sub cannon, actually. And, uh, Lina, hopefully will hit with this. And then you can use uh, Increm or something, I don't care. Alright. Oh, 
Okay, so you missed once. That's something. Alright, so that's a sub cannon for 6,000 damage. Why not? And then a little combo of uh, two cannons and a torpedo. Hopefully one of them will hit and he will go down. Maybe everything will hit. Oh, very nice. 25,000 damage. Wow, we could have taken the links down with this. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so very minimal XP, minimal gold. We are not supposed to be fighting this guy with this ship. Okay, we're crossing through uh, Nazran airspace very fast. That's good. Not much battles to stop us and... As soon as I say that, of course, a battle. Oh well. Ooh, a tourney bird. More tourney bird. Okay, well, now I can both build a shield and destroy all of you. <clears throat> Special. very much like Pina to learn the next red magic of the room. Vice has already learned it, but uh, Pina has lots better magic and usually Vice is occupied doing other things, other stuff, such as attacking, putting everything inside. Alright, we'll just uh, sneak around here and then into this uh, sky reef. Which, yes, we can traverse this particular sky reef right now. And looking around, we find a city. Very nice. Let's go duck. So yeah, it's a... Uh, pretty beat up. Everything is in ruins. Sky Rift looks worse than any of the others. Oh yes, there is an enormous black Sky Rift over there. If we tried to power our way through it, I think the Delphinus would get ripped to pieces. That is not good. But if we don't go through there, we won't be able to reach Yafutoma. Isn't there something we can do? And Enrique is airsick again. Are you feeling any better? No, to be completely honest, I feel awful. Why don't you guys take a look around the city? I don't think I would be, it would be wise for me to move in my condition. I'll stay here and look after Enrique. Alright, Aka, let's go check out the city. Someone here has to know how to get to Yafutama. Let's get exploring then. Really an amazing music track. I like it. Okay, here we find a cham. I don't think it would be evolving anything, but let's see. Here we find ourselves in a ship stuck into the cliff. And we get a rather large amount of gold. Very nice. Come on. Oh, not even this one you can take. That's sad. Right.
Okay, in this little cabin here, you can actually interact with this switch. I didn't know that the first time I played this game. This uh, this whole area up there, I didn't go to until my maybe third or fourth playthrough of this game. And I found it by sheer luck, too. Here we find three Valuan uniforms, which are absolutely useless. These are the uniforms the very early game uh, Valuan soldiers are wearing, so they are not up to our levels. But here we can get a nice little view of the Dark Rift in the distance. And uh, we can also climb this little watchtower here, which is a lighthouse, I guess. Another rather long... Uh, ladder. This game loves his ladder, I tell you. Okay, so here we find a moonfish. I saw you, Mr. Fish. That's good, we didn't find a moonfish in a while. We haven't found a moonfish in a while. Nice little aerial view of the city there. down mostly this moonfish does take a while to get really it's annoying okay we've hit ground floor again good Whew, that was long all right so let's explore around this is the tavern over there by the left but I'm going uh, not going there right now I'm going to catch some more moonfishes! There's a merchant here I might visit, I'm not sure yet. But for now, I'm going to explore the outskirts of the city, and if you go past this little tree here, you can find a secret treasure with another moonberry. That's very nice. Brings us up to either two or three, I think. Okay, one more and we can learn Fina's uh, final attack. The final attacks are obviously the very best. Okay, so what do you sell, Mr. Man? A new weapon for Vice? I, want, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. You have Sacrums, but I'm good as yes for now. You have Magic Dew. I would like... Yes, I will buy four Magic Dew. Just so I have five. In case anything crazy happens, you have the same stuff as the other guy had in uh, Nasrad, so I won't bother about that. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, now we can explore the pub, the tavern. Hey there, Mr. Man. What can you tell me about uh, the Dark Rift and Yafutoma? Uh, it's a pitiful sailor. You're not from around here, are ya? No, and I'm not wearing pink boots either. Actually, we just came into town and we were wondering if someone here could help us. So you came to me. Well, that's just great. By the way, the name is Don. Now ask me your question and be on your way. You know that sky rift to the east? How do you get through it? So, you're looking for a way to cross the dark rift, eh? And everybody seems interested by that. What's so funny about wanting to cross a sky rift? Okay, <laughs> So the world is still full of fools! Okay, that's not very nice. <gasps> what? Are you kids serious? You're trying to cross the Dark Rift? They don't stand a chance. Someone better tell their parents they are here. Kid, that's no, that's no ordinary Sky Rift. 
So much so that I'm going to drink to reassure myself before talking. During the war, this cape was discovered and this city was built. This place is the, at the, the edge of the world. If you try and go any further east, you'll be killed. Hundreds of men, good men, have died trying. But there's always a few fools that don't hate the warnings. The Dark Rift usually claim them. Some of the best sailors from all over the world try to cross the Dark Rift. They came from everywhere. One by one they tried to pass through the Dark Rift. All of them failed. Okay. The ships that enter the Dark Rift are either pushed away by the winds, or they get sucked in, never to return. Wow. My crew and I lost our ship. We were lucky to survive after a while sailors stopped coming. All we do now is sit around here and wait to die. Okay. How do you make a living? Waiting to die is not a very... Profitable occupation. Some things are just impossible, kid. Why don't you just go back to wherever you came from and have your mommy tell you bedtime stories? What's wrong with you people? You've thrown your lives away? Don't you care about anything? Vice, let's go. We're just wasting our time here. Oh no, we're not going just yet. First we need to give this little boy here a piece, of, a piece of our mind. Thanks for telling me about the Dark Rift. Before I go, I just want to say that I've never met a more pitiful bunch in my life. If you lose sight of one dream, replace it with another. Think about how much you could have accomplished in the time that you've spent here. Just because you couldn't cross the Dark Rift, are you just going to sit here for the rest of your life? Because you tried something once and failed, are you going to throw the rest of your life away? There's a whole world out there to see. Don't you have any desire to sail again? Okay. So... Yeah. Shut him up good there. Oh, Fina's running! Wow, heavy glitch. Fina, what is it? Vice, Aka, come to the port, quickly! The Armada is coming! What? What are, you, what are they doing here? Could they be chasing after their prince? Hey Cal, let's move, we should hurry back to the port. We are mad eye, so who are we going to meet today? Hey Enrique, what's the word? Ah, Vice, you're back. I think you need to see this. Yes? Okay, a battle formation of uh, warships heavily armored. What are those pikes? The Origa of the second Amiral, Gregorio. Wow, just second to Galcian himself. That huge armored ship belongs to Admiral Gregorio. Gregorio is the best defensive tactician the Valua Armada, the Valuan Armada has ever seen. They even nicknamed him Ironwall. Okay, interesting. He's forming a blockade around the town. Prince Enrique says a Valuan soldier. Okay, there is indeed a Valuan soldier. I've come on behalf of Admiral Gregorio. He has an urgent message for you. I see. Well done. I hope my prince finds himself in good health. I heard that you had a change of heart, or were perhaps brainwashed by the air pirates. Empress Theodora has, has sent me to escort my prince back to Valua. So that, he may so, so that he may recover. If my prince refuses to comply, my ships will regrettably begin firing upon the city tomorrow at noon. Your humble servant, Gregorio. Okay. Huh. 
Ah, Uncle Gregorio is asking me to surrender. Uncle? Really? Oh, Gregorio was an admiral in the Armada even before my father passed away. He helped, he helped raise me when I was growing up. He's uh, always been like an uncle to me. I know that he doesn't want to fight and he really does want me to surrender. But I can't go back, not after everything they've done. Even if, even if it means I have to fight him. Enrique? Let's rest up for tomorrow. Gregorio is the most honorable man I've ever met. He won't break his word. I understand. We should rest on long tonight and keep you off the ship until tomorrow. The last thing you need is for your uncle to see you throwing up over the railing in the heat of battle. Great, now you're starting to sound just like Aika. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on, let's stay at the inn tonight. We're gonna need our rest. Okay. And it's a free plot hill. Hooray! The very best kind of hill. Okay, so it is now the following morning and we are now headed to battle with the Armada. Hopefully we can defeat all of their ships. That's a lot of them though. But this, but this episode has been going on quite long enough, so I'm going to have to put a cat here. So thanks everybody for watching, I am Vysol playing Skies of Arcadia Legends and I will see you guys again next time. Bye bye.